Let's go. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. This is so cool. Let's go. <laughs> I'm in a mess. From here on out, I think we're now officially at maybe this potentially scariest spot of the trail. This is terrifying. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah, carnage. <laughs> we 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 made it a little bit wider for the next. Good thing there's no steps it. to knock off. That was not fun. Let's check it out. Oh boy. I made it. I made it. Oh boy. That was the best part yet. Was that pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. That was kind of stressful. Did I bring the river with me? What happened? Just lots of dirt. <laughs> yeah, oh. so like. When you came up, the embankment was here. And so this whole section here was hitting all that soft dirt. <laughs> so the second time you went, it just went blasted away. Plowed through it. Plowed through it. Well, first of all, I did it all in two wheel drive, <laughs> which was miraculous. <laughs> yeah, I was, it, was, it was muddy, slippery. And... I just punched it. I backed <laughs> down and punched it all the way up. And then I got to the thing and he's like, don't, 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 stop, don't. And I did stop and I was trying to yeah. And then I got wedged again, so we had to back up on the, and I just went all the way up and around, and, and look, we survived. Yep. You said you. It was just dirt, it was just soft dirt. It was all soft dirt. It was all right yeah. here, so it just plowed through. Look at it. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> hey, there's nice no seal. dirt inside. Seals work. Triple seals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's like just caving. Yeah, look down stuff. here. Mm, Jack, here you go. Oh my god. The T track, uh, it's a dirt collector. <laughs> <laughs> the dirt collector. It's great. So you can take home souvenirs. <laughs> yeah, not as damage. It's yeah. just a lot of soft dirt. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. It looks like a little scratch. So look how beautiful this is, though. This that is plateau, a... that thing in the back. Oh uh, yeah. Let's let's go. And there's just this abandoned car. Pretty cool. Don't know whose it is, but it's pretty cool. Look at the tower. This is so cool out here. Oh boy, I can't believe I made it out of that ditch with uh, two wheel drive. That was crazy. You say there's a pretty good dip over there, Michael? It always looks worse from the vehicle. Here he goes. If he disappears, then you know it's a, a good sized dip. You know if my butt's gonna hit. If it is, we can read the air back up. I don't see your butt hitting. Do um, you want me to get out and check? It's not gonna look good, but I think it's fine. Oh, the butt on your truck. On the hitch. What do you have? Oh, that is a good, good size dip. Trailer looks fine. Oh, look at it, just drop on down. Go slow. Roll down your window. Oof. Oh boy. With like an inch. Oh, it's like an inch away. It's so close to Dragon. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, I'm going. Get close. <laughs> what am I getting close to? 
Is it hit? Oh, you know, you're clear. You cleared the front. So start turning. Did he say stop? A little bit. It's gonna start rubbing. Stop. You're floating. Here we got another floater. <laughs> Can't spin that one. Let me pump up the air. Let's see what type of predicament we're in here. Oh! This is great. So this is how you change both of your tires. Yeah, this time you can do both. They're both off the ground. Oh, so if, if both of your tires go flat, you can change them like this. You just got to find a nice, really good, deep trench, and then you can get both tires off the ground. You barely made that. Oh yeah, but Did like I, this is how it was. Was I scraping? Oh. You were closer like Oh wait, no, go. Look at I was right there. Okay, lift it up. Yeah, so that's where you were, but we grab out the airbag controller and let's give a couple more inches of clear. Look at that. That's awesome. That's the reason why you want airbags, right? That's pretty cool. There Not. Nice, no, clear plenty. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Yeah, you made it. We see if you can make it. Like I was about to run into the tree. See, look, yeah. this was my driver le left tire. Yeah. And I was like, uh, so I had to back up a little bit and turn and then barely make it out of there. But you made it. I made it, I made it. No scratches. Is that the last hard thing we gotta do? <laughs> we we have out. no idea. <laughs> We've never been on this trail. So that is a great question. I didn't. I thought as soon as we got out of the Swell Canyon part, it was gonna be like a smooth, paved yeah. road. <laughs> Crawls so well. Tires just float. Okay. Right now, pretty much, we're facing. Okay, we're about to go up with the drone. So, right over here. The trail is going that way, and there it's hard to tell, but there's a cliff drop down right here. Like if you look here, you can't really see this because this just goes and drops straight down. So potentially that trail is gonna go up there and there's gonna be a, along a ledge, and it's on the north face of the mountain, north side of the mountain, which means there could be snow or ice. Oh, it's just scary, especially when you don't have four-wheel drive. getting any skinnier and any easier and the sun's going down which makes it even worse oh boy <laughs> look at this we're just like on cliff ledges scared in the ravine <laughs> yeah be careful you're going a little bit tippy there oh my gosh this is scarier than the ravine for sure Oh boy, there's snow here. Oh crap. This is quite a bit of a space before the cliff. It's all snow. Oh crap. The trailer looks like it's gonna tip.
I didn't kick out at all. Look, you can see I was way over there from the get go. So this is this is the biggest issue. Is this is some deep fire local thing. <laughs> Do you see it right? The evidence. Well, this right here is this deep tire, which is you slide right down into this little ditch. And his trailer was wedged up all all the way up against the wall. His trailer tire, this is his trailer tire. Yeah, I rode it. You rode it right here. That was his trailer that popped up right there, boom. But his Jeep was right there. He couldn't go any farther that way and the trailer was too far this way. And he's in the shortest vehicle and the shortest trailer. <laughs> oh boy. We're losing light. <laughs> I'm losing light. <laughs> Turn on your front wheel drive. Yeah, keep that line. Keep it. Keep it. Keep coming. Yeah, just right there. Don't die. Let me stand where I'll die if I stay. <laughs> Do I need to start turning? Um, no, not yet. Come back this way. A little more passenger. There you go, right there. All right, turn a little more driver. Yeah, that's good. Okay, is that as hard driver as you can go? Yeah, that's as hard driver as I go. Can go. I think that's okay for a little bit more. <laughs> Turn passenger and go backwards. It's pushing me a little bit. Passenger, hard passenger. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, back up. You're gonna hit a rock. You're way further. Yep, then drive off the rock. Right there, yeah. Here, let me get in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I kept pushing. Gosh. This is ridiculous. All right, keep coming. Yeah, that's a good line. And now you probably want to come more this way because you want to keep swinging out as much as possible. You're on my tire track that I did. Which is not good. <laughs> okay, your passenger tire is gonna slide in. Okay, there you go. By half tire. Okay, what's the trailer gonna do? It's looking okay, right? It's gonna tip a little bit. It's gonna follow your tire track. Is it on the same tire track as I was? Similar, yeah. Okay. Real slow. Here, let me go back up there. That trailer is gonna drop pretty. Oh, what's, is it gonna drop? Gonna it dropped into that rock. How's it? Does it look like he's gonna drop in? Not yet. You're gonna keep climbing. I think you climb all the way to the other end, and you're past the ditch on the other side. Okay. Both tires are on. You have more room if you want. Looking good. The way. Oh, you're, you're close to sliding, I think. You might drop. I think you should go more. Go more passenger. Yeah. yeah if you can. So, so it stops hugging the rock. You're dropping, you're dropping. We want it to come down slowly. Yeah, just go really slow. This is terrifying. Woo! <laughs> we got just one tread. <laughs> Woo! We're still on. Coming down. Hey, let's start. Those taxes are pretty grippy. You might ride it the whole way. <laughs> yeah, you're close, you're gonna slide. I'll fall off right here, I'm gonna be Oh! <laughs> yeah, the other side's fine. The other side's tighter than you were. There, you there, now you touch. Yep. Now you can keep it tight against the wall. Yeah! That's a good trailer crawling. <laughs> sure, if that's what you call it. <laughs> Nothing about this feels good. Whoa! Wow. I feel good. Oh, I love the runoff dips. Those are my favorite. Yeah.
Yeah, it's like a tight, you should be fine. Yeah, you're in my same track. Oh, I don't know. Go! Cool. Woohoo! Now let's go do the other one. <laughs> We've survived so far. Oh man, and it's getting dark. Yeah. Wow, you white knuckling it there? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was pretty freaking sketchy. It is sketchy. It's scary. I Trailer do, crawling. I want to be done. <laughs> I know. I'm ready to be done. It's starting to get cold. The sun is yeah. going down and we're on snowy, yep. cliffy trails. But once you've committed, you got to finish. <laughs> well, we no. <laughs> I want to turn around, but yeah. I can't. It'd be worse to turn around. It's impossible to turn around. <laughs> yeah. There's no turning around. We're either going to die or make it through this trail. Those are our options. I'll take well, the ladder. But... <laughs> I'll take the ladder one. Um, well, the reality is uh, we have a trailer. We got food. So if we just park somewhere on this trail, we can we wait till the snow, till the snow melts. Yeah, till it's spring. <laughs> Well, you're just fast. Fast. You fasted for like four days. <laughs> I know so. I did. She's getting mighty hungry. We well, can take turns fasting. Jordan you will be the one eating people first because <laughs> he's got no fat to eat himself. It's true. The skinny people die first or eat people. <laughs> Okay, it's fun until the sun goes down. And then it's just, ugh, I don't know. So check this out, there, there he goes. The sun's going down the last hour or so. We've been mostly in snow on the trail. Not very fun, but there's nowhere to really turn around. And now turning around is not an option because we've already gone through some of the worst parts. Hopefully, because we have no idea what's ahead of us. And we got like 17 more miles on the dirt. So we've gone maybe 6.9. <laughs> it's 5.46 p.m. And the sun is officially going down. So the trail has gotten worse. There's snow everywhere. We're sliding, we're making sharp turns. I feel like the trailer's gonna tip. It's it's way more bumpy. It's just not fun at all. And now the sun is going down. It's getting freezing. <laughs> Earlier today, we're like, it's so nice. You know, we're in our t-shirts and now it's like frigid outside. Our hands are ice cold as we're spotting each other. This is not the fun part of the trail, that's for sure. So uh, hopefully, I, I'm thinking we just need to find a good open area to park and camp for the night. That's what I'm thinking. I, I don't want to go anymore. Okay, and earlier I was trying to go into four wheel high and it wasn't working. Uh, the two wheel drive, so I was doing things in two wheel drive. When we got to the snow, it was way too sketchy. I tried to throw it in four wheel low and it seemed to work, engage, and it wasn't making any weird noises, so. I was going really slow too. I would have slid a few times if I didn't have it on. So luckily it seemed like it was working, um, but I, I've noticed it making weird noises. So I'm pretty much like when I'm hitting an ice patch or snow slide, I'm throwing it in. As soon as I get out, I immediately put it in two wheel drive. Uh, anyways, not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> Michael's probably having a blast, but this is not my idea of fun. It's crazy, it's cool, but at the end of the day, I just like to get to a nice place and go camping. I don't want to like die on the way there. <laughs> I'm being a little dramatic, but it's not fun. Not that it's like totally needed. It's nice to have extra people here, but I am also happy that we have Starlink because I like I have service the whole time. So if anything did happen, we'd have at least an emergency. Plus I've been running my maps, not downloaded maps. Like just live maps because it downloads them i mean i can load them i'll tell you what the download speed is amazing latency amazing upload speeds terrible 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 elon musk please do something about that
why are the upload speeds like sometimes it's less than one it's like a point something something two or three is screaming fast for upload speeds anyways so it'd be nice if it was faster i don't know why it's not well it's beautiful sunset is coming down or the sun is going down and there is a sunset bumpy roads but right now it doesn't seem like we're on any cliff area which is much nicer now it's officially just snow we are driving through the snow it's dark and dreary Ooh, and it's slippery and i'm keeping my momentum oh there's a little patch of dirt there we go but we are in just tons and tons of snow now i didn't think we were going to be hitting this much snow oh man this is a mess but it's so we're just going, trying to keep the momentum up this hill. Shoot, it's just slipping. Oh my goodness, here we go. Hopefully there's not a knee. Oh my gosh. like any crazy cliff it's just snow now <laughs> but it is like you got to kind of keep your momentum going because when you stop with the trailer it's really hard to get going again oh this train it's cool boy just keep it going <laughs> whoa we're just in the snow just going you go faster because you have to and it makes it a softer height fast once you get to the top. And you can go kind of slow. This is <laughs> that up was terrifying. <laughs> I was so scared. The trailer's just bashing around like you can't even stop. I almost didn't make it up that. I was punching it. How deep do you think it is now? It looks like it's a foot. You guys are making some pretty big ruts. Big giant tree around that corner. Yeah, I don't know either. It looks like it's just getting deeper and deeper. We got like probably a foot to a foot and a half of snow now. This is the trail. Oh boy, I'm just slipping all over the place. I can't tell if it's getting deeper, worse, better. I don't even want to see the side of the left side of my trailer around that tree. I'm not sure you had to make that up there. Yeah, it's because I kind of took your tire tracks, which was a yeah, mistake. I, I tried to take wide, but I still got a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it feels of like it's getting worse. This was not part of the plan. We were trying to avoid snow. You know, it's all downhill in the park. Yeah, and there's not too many cliffs, which is nice. See, this is the road that I was telling you that looked like it was nice and graded. I just didn't know there was gonna be snow on it. Found some plowed road. Feels so nice to be on some plowed road. And we're still about 10 minutes from the I-70, was it 70? Yeah, I-70. I-70. But man, we didn't think we were going to make it out for a minute. It was getting deep and sketchy. If you can see out there at all, it's pretty deep. But luckily we're on paved road. Mike and uh, Shane are up there, 145, 195. We have finally made it to ready? the interstate. Check it out. It's 11 degrees outside. Anyways, we were in the snow the whole time. We finally made it to like the frontage road. This is the interstate next to us. You'll see a semi-truck driving by. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna head back down, hopefully to a uh, place that we've camped before off the side of the freeway. Hopefully it will be a little bit warmer because there was no snow where we were at. Now there's like a foot plus feet of snow through this whole thing that we've been driving. We must have climbed the elevation pretty high. We have made it to camp and here we are. It's uh, we got a little fire back here. It's super cozy. It's really cool. Just we got a campsite all to ourselves. Show it to you more tomorrow. It's kind of dark, so it's kind of hard to see. We got three trailers. We got the one I'm sleeping in, the uh, Roma one, the Michaels, still hooked up, and camera crew in the X195. This is super cool. Stars are beautiful, really fun. We've been on some crazy adventures. We've been in tunnels. We've been in slot canyons and in that crazy snow trails where we thought we were gonna slide off some cliffs. Been an adventure for sure. Welcome to the end of the trail. Yes, and the beginning of our full bellies. Thank you, Michael, for of always course. being the cook. When it's just me and Jordan that go out, <laughs> you don't eat. On, we, 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 one, we just rarely eat. And two, the menu is always eggs, eggs. <laughs> and eggs. I sometimes put some cheese in eggs, and sometimes I put bacon in the eggs. I say, you make some pretty delicious uh, bacon and eggs. <laughs> I, I believe so, too. I have a lot of practice. That's the only thing I make. <laughs> Michael's like made us like sweet potato salad and steak and it's like spiced and we were cooking in the X145. Yeah, the X145 on the induction cooktop. Oh yeah. And you said it was cooking pretty fast, huh? Yeah, I cooked. I cooked plenty fast. I was cooking the steak at 375. So the trail, all of it, the last couple of days. Yeah, we've done, we've I been mean, we've, we've been multiple trails kind of linked together in a way. Yeah, we've been cutting over, you know, roads to get to other trails. Originally setting out to go on a Moab deep trail. Yeah, we're gonna go do 3D. Yeah, but, uh, is that what it was called, 3D? Yeah, 3D, yeah, because it's three different, it has three different dimensions, they call it, because you get like wash, you get plateaus, and something in the middle. I don't remember. <laughs> 3D. <laughs> There's three of them. So. That's pretty cool. So, as we were getting into Moab, all the plateaus everywhere was covered in snow. Yeah. And the last thing we wanted to do was deal with snow. <laughs> I know, right? That was not fun. We don't always like snow. I mean, we were just recently on an adventure and we we got, we slid like what, 10, 15 feet backwards on a slick snow road. We had to winch ourselves up. You gotta go check out that video. That was ridiculous. It was madness. And yeah, so we were like, no snow. We've done enough snow. Let's like find some nice warm, change up the scenery. And we ended up, this whole adventure ended up getting us a little bit of everything. We did, we were, it was a lot more, it was like we found a nice dry trail to start. That turned into snow. <laughs> Unfortunately. Miles of snow. Miles, miles and miles of, of foot, got up to a foot, maybe even two feet at some points. And we were just sliding all over the place. That was so scary. Well, and if you don't keep up the momentum, you're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Well, and there were some areas where it was like down into a wash and then up immediately. Yeah. And my four wheel drive at the beginning of the trip started clinking and making weird noises. So half of the obstacles, like in the wash bed wash, I came up all in two wheel drive, which yeah. was insane. And then I was going for snow. Luckily, four wheel low, it seemed to be engaging better but it was terrifying. Like that trail got worse and worse on those edges. So we wanted to avoid snow. We ended up getting tons of snow. And well, then what about that tunnel? Yeah, that tunnel was crazy. That's something we haven't pulled a trailer through before. Yeah, and we scraped, we scraped a bowl. We did on one of them because there was too much, uh, all that sand, so you just had to get through it perfectly. It was that Ram, it was that Ram diesel truck. Like my, my truck has airbags in it, so I pumped it up right at right before it came out the back. So it pushed the tongue up just enough to put the tail of the trailer right through. But the Ram truck didn't have airbags to pump up. And it just scraped just a little, just a bolt, luckily, right? Well, yeah, with all of our efforts in 
the back. <laughs> we were all <laughs> shaking that, off. That <laughs> box in the back is strong. It's yeah. very strong, yeah. <laughs> You guys were like 500 pounds. Yeah, I was standing on Three it, pushing on the roof. He was hanging. Jordan was hanging. Michael was bench pressing the world. Oh, my God. And we still scraped a bowl. <laughs> and you still scraped it. 500 pounds. Hey, that cargo box on the back. There you go. Romer 1 has that. Uh, and the Explorers have those cargo box. Rated for. I'm sure it's not rated for 500 Rated pounds. for. Three people. Three people. <laughs> but I don't. The thing is, you'd never put. You could even in that space. There's no way you could load that up unless you just put like literally like dumbbells in there or something. Gold bars. Gold bars. Yeah. Hey, it's, it is lockable, so you could. Yeah, so you can put your gold bars in there if you got your gold bars. bars. Rear safe. And that canyon was so epic. That that slot yeah. canyon that we drove through, and the uh, the petroglyphs. Yeah, yeah, those walls were insanely high. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like we didn't end up going on some crazy, crazy obstacles. There were some good obstacles here. Yeah, we had to get on spot a bunch of spots. Especially when you add the snow. Yeah, when you add the snow and going around those corners, like it was just so tight on with the trailers, those corners. Like in a Jeep, it would have been easy, right? You just zip around that. Even in a full size pickup, it would have been easy. But with the trailer, everything is totally different on the trailer. You know, like if you're doing a, a Jeep 5 rated trail with a Jeep, you add a trailer to it, it's like a 7 or an 8. It's, it's so much more difficult. Some of them aren't even possible. Yeah, so we ended up getting a good combination of a little bit of everything. We got washes, we got canyons, we got tunnels, we got snow. Yeah. That snow was mostly in the dark, so that unfortunately is probably not going to be as good as uh, footage to see how yeah, crazy it's it shaky. Though, it's shaky. It's shaky. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, and yeah, you're in the, in the, in the truck, too. But. You guys sound like you guys, when you went into that wash and flew out of it. And you yeah, you said you hit your head. I didn't think we were going to make it up. You hit your head on the roof. <laughs> All of the camera gear went flying everywhere. <laughs> oh that was yeah. terrifying. It you, gives me flashbacks. <laughs> flashbacks of what? <laughs> oh, Jordan and I, we went, uh, went to the top of the world trail. In Moab, thinking Moab is going to be all nice. And, and there was like no snow in Moab, but the top of the world is, you know, the, the trail is north facing. So no sun hits it. And we got out there and it was, it was insane. Was we actually got a video of that too, if you want to check it out. Oh yeah, go check that video out. The top of the world. That was our last ice snow video. And that one, you got a lot of good footage. You got to go check that one out. That one's crazy. Yeah, so... Pretty good. Overall, it was a success, uh, oh. and I, I had a great time. So the trailers are extremely capable too. Oh, very. Like I, the amount of worry that I had for hitting things was very minimal. Yeah, we barely scratched anything, including the bottom, the roof. We did hit the sides with some trees here. Yeah. Then, but what do you do? <laughs> anyway, well, thank you so much for watching. Go check out that video down in Moab of Michael sliding on ice backwards with the conqueror train. I'm sledding. That was yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, we'll uh, see you hopefully on another adventure soon or at one of our experience centers, South Carolina, Utah. Come check us out. Have a wonderful night. Bye -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.